If you're like me and you got this email from Shopify or you saw this in Clavio and you were like, wait, what do I have to do? Don't stress, we're gonna get it sorted in less than five minutes. Let's go. You may be wondering why you have to go and make these changes. Basically, long story short, Gmail and Yahoo, yes, Yahoo, who even knew they were still around, are uh, going to make it harder for you to not appear in your customer's spam folders. So if you don't want to rock up next to that Nigerian prince or the Viagra sales emails, I mean, maybe unless you're selling Viagra, <laughs> then you need to follow these simple three steps and we're gonna get you out of that spam folder and into that glorious main inbox. Spoiler, you've got until February 1st, 2024 to get this done. Otherwise you're destined for that Nigerian prince in the spam folder, so get it done. Step number one is actually something you've probably already done, but just to make sure that you want to log into Shopify, click on settings, go to notifications and scroll down to your domain. Now, if you see a green bar here saying your domain has been authenticated, well, hey, you're good to go. That's step one done. If you see a button, however, saying authenticate domain, click on that, follow the steps, and then proceed to step number two. Now, in typical Shopify fashion, they have released the help article, which is useless. They have put a whole bunch of stuff in there for you to do, which doesn't really make sense. And then they link to a Google article, which is just like, what? Am I talking to Amazon seller support? Like what? It's actually very easy to do. There's two things we should move forward with. Number one is first making sure you actually need to make the changes. You want to click on this link here. If you can't find the link, don't stress. It's in the description below. You can copy and paste it to end up on this page. And all you have to do is type in your domain, click enter, and let's see what happens. If you get this prompt saying that your domain is already valid and set up, then what are you doing on this video? You're already good to go. Well, kind of, almost. There are a couple of more steps you should check, but let's be honest, it's because you missed my voice, right? It's been two years since my last video. Love ya. Love ya, deep down. If you didn't get that pop-up or that little prompt, I should say, don't stress, we can get it working very, very simply, and I would say 90% of you should not be getting the hooray, your domain is valid, so you're in the right place. Let's move forward. Alrighty, on to step number three. Now this is updating your DNS records. It sounds really intense and like we're going to be doing some crazy stuff here, but actually it's it's very simple, I promise. Stick with me now. So first you want to log in to where you bought your domain from. If you're lucky, you probably paid more than you should have and bought it from shopify.com. If that's the case, it's actually very easy to find this. Go into settings, domains, and then you're going to click update DNS information. If you didn't buy it from Shopify, don't stress, you could have bought it from anywhere else. You just have to find where that provider is. It's probably Namecheap, GoDaddy only domains, um, or something similar. Every domain provider will give you an option to update your DNS settings, so just work out how you can do that. Normally it's under the domain, manage domain, and then update DNS settings like this. Now it's time to add that DNS record and to make things nice and easy, I've also put down in the description below exactly what you need to copy and paste. Essentially, you're going to add a TXT record, a text record like this. In the name section, we are going to add this little piece of goodness. And then in the value or the data section, we are going to add this. Now notice at the end here, it will say your address at yourdomain.com. It's really, really important that you update this to be your or customer service email or your normal business email. So it should be hello at your Shopify store.com or whatever your domain is. And uh, yeah, you're basically good to go. We can now go back to that verifying inspect tool that we did in step number two. We can check on our domain again, press enter and inspect. And voila, we are all finito, finished. Well, almost, almost there. If you use Clavio, you should keep watching because there's a couple more steps you want to do. But if you have found this video helpful so far, make sure you give it a like and a subscribe. It's been two years, it's been a while, but we're back. We're back. So for Clavio, what they recommend is if you send your emails out to over 5,000 people, you should set up what's called a branded domain. Essentially at the moment when you send out emails via Clavio, it will probably come from an email address like hello at yourcompany.com and then it will say via cleviomailer.spam.com in the top. So to avoid that, you can set up what's called a branded domain, and this is how we find it inside Clavio. Now all we need to do is follow these steps. We can add our domain here. Click next, and here's some more DNS records. But luckily for you, you've still got that DNS tab open, right? I hope. Copy and paste these DNS records from Clavio into your domain provider, 
And uh, yeah, you're basically done. You can now click verify and it may or may not instantly say your domain has been set up. Sometimes it can take 24 to 48 hours to be fully set up. So do check back if it doesn't say verified right away. Now, if 48 hours have passed and you're still not seeing it verified, you may have made a mistake, but hey, I'm always open to help, so you can reach out to me on my socials down below. I don't know why Shopify tries to make it so difficult to understand. I mean, even me, I was confused by their help article, to be honest. So hopefully this helped a lot. If it did, hit the like button down below, consider subscribing, and the Ecom Lion. I should really change my channel back to just my name. Dylan. <laughs> Ecom Lion feels very pre-COVID, doesn't it? Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, adios, amigos. I'm not even Spanish, why did I say that? <laughs>